Let's take a look at this problem. This is another substitution one. Let's see, we got y is equal to x, 4x squared. Well, this one you could probably use uh, the addition method on also. But I'm going to use substitution. And negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 8. Okay, step one. We want to solve the equation with the smallest powers. Um, doesn't matter which one you pick, they're they both uh, have the same powers. So I'll choose this one. Y is equal to 4x squared minus 4x plus 5. And we want to solve it for the the variable with the smallest power on it. Well, Y is the Y of the first power, so that's the smallest one. Uh, it's already solved for Y, so that's done. Step two. Substitute this into your other equation. So our other equation was this one. So we got y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 8. Now in step 1 we said y was equal to 4x squared minus 4x plus 5. So we're going to replace the y here with 4x squared minus 4x plus 5. And then the right side will remain as is. Negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 8. Now we want to solve this. Uh, this is a quadratic, so we want to get everything over one side. I'm going to take the negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 8 and move them over to the left side. The reason why is because I want these squared parts to be positive. Uh, largest power should have positive numbers on them. So we got 4x squared. Now as I move these over, I'm going to rearrange them and have the like terms next to each other. So negative 2x squared becomes a positive 2x squared minus 4x. Take the 3x over, becomes a negative 3x plus 5, and take the 8 over and becomes a negative 8. Combining out like terms in any step, 4x squared plus 2x squared is 6x squared. Negative 4x negative 3x is negative 7x. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Now if this factors, it's key number. Um. Okay, now I see it. Okay, so we got 3x, 2x, minus 3, plus 1, equal to 0. Let me double check that. 6x squared, minus 9x, plus 2x, yeah. Now, zero factor property says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you're going to set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set 3x plus 1 equal to zero, and I'll set 2x minus 3 equal to zero. Then solve these. Take the 1 over, becomes a negative 1. I divide both sides by 3, and you get negative 1 third. Here, take the negative 3 over, becomes a positive 3. Divide both sides by 2, and you get x is equal to 3 halves. Now step three, we're going to plug these uh, back into the uh, equation in step one. So we've got x is equal to negative one-third and x is equal to three-halves. And we're plugging those into this equation right here. y is equal to 4x squared minus 4x plus 5. Well, we got 4 times negative 1 third squared minus 4 times negative 1 third plus 5. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Negative 1 third uh, squared is 1 ninth. Negative times negative is positive, so that gives us positive 4 thirds plus 5, which gives us 4 ninths. And we're going to rewrite all of them with a new denominator of 9. So multiply the bottom part here by 3, top part by 3, so that gives us 12 ninths, plus 45 over 9. Um, let's see, 57, 61 ninths. So this answer will be negative 1 third, 61 ninths. And I want to do the same thing with 3 halves. So we've got y is equal to 4 times 3 halves squared minus 4 times 3 halves plus 5. 
So we've got 4 times uh, 3 squared, 3 halves squared is 9 fourths, minus 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, plus 5. That gives us 9 minus 6 plus 5. 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. So that gives us 3 halves 8. And that's our second answer. And those are our answers.